The quality of the singers we have in New Zealand is just amazing. Rotorua's ARIA competition is back for its 75th birthday after missing two years due to COVID. We're the first competition or the first event in the refurbished and strengthened Sir Howard Morrison Performing Arts Centre. And before it closed, we were the last event in there. The final touches to the centre complete, the ARIA competition, which boasts alumni such as Dane Malvina Major and Dame Kitty Takanua, is open to the world again, once more providing opportunities for up and coming operatic stars. We're the only singing competition, I would say probably in the world, where there's no age limit, upper age limit, you have to be 18 for the open classes, and you can come from any country in the world. For Alicia Holton, hearing Rangatahi sing opera is music to her ears. Without getting too emotional, music is life. Yeah, and um, you know, it gets you through all the hard times. Oh, here we go. <laughs> It's, um, it's my passion, it's something that you can share with anyone and everyone. It's a universal language and um, really fulfills, and personally really fulfills my soul, my heart and soul. Alicia placed third when she competed in the aria. She sees a strong connection between opera and Rotorua's favourite music. And Rotorua here especially, you know, we've got, it's the, the heart of Kapahaka. And so we have, um, as a music teacher here at Rotorua Boys High School, for example, um, I have a lot of students from that Kapahaka background and I have the opportunity to teach them um, the, the vocal techniques through classical music and they're able to actually implement that into their Kapahaka singing. I've always been experienced around Kapahaka um, and it's a very different style of performing and then once I was introduced to this sort of style of singing it was like it changed my whole perspective on opera I really thought it was just like people just yelling and, but now it's like really um, something that's really beautiful Classical music is a big part of Maria Kappa's Whakapapa. A lot of our nannies here in Rotorua in Kapahaka and a lot of our singing in our concert, concerts, they all sang beautifully high. So we all grew up watching them and singing with them. Maria, who is competing this year, studied opera at Waikato University where she learnt the tricks of the trade. So you stand and you go, um, and you do this sort of move, but then you've got to stand there calmly and do the same thing to get that same muscle movement happening to sing that. It's wairua, it's spirit as well, and you share that with, with people, and this, it's just, um, it's kind of like a, a spiritual out-of-body experience. With close to 800 people at the new theatre, the excitement is at a crescendo. Rotorua never gets a full professional orchestra here. The, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, when it tours, it's not the full orchestra, it's only half an orchestra. So I think for a provincial place to have a full orchestra playing, plus the singers, which are world standard, come to Rotorua, we are very lucky. For these contestants, the year-long wait has been worthwhile.
it's cool because we put in a lot of work to be able to do it last year and now it's on and our work is going to be able to pay off. Joanne will be straight back to work next week looking for sponsors to ensure another competition next year. And she knows what they will say. Well, the response to me is, what do you want now? Because <laughs> they know I'm always coming to them asking for money or something. But I don't know if, Rot I know some Rotorua people really appreciate having it in Rotorua. I don't know if the wider community realises how lucky we are to be able to keep it here. Violet French, Local Focus.